Hello and welcome to Understanding Generative AI and Large Language Models by LMI. This video is introductory and will cover what generative AI and LLMs are, how they work, applicable uses, and key considerations for productive and responsible use of generative AI tools. So what is generative AI? Generative AI refers to a type of artificial intelligence that has the ability to create or generate new content, such as text, images, computer code, or music, without being explicitly programmed to do so. Instead, generative AI models are trained on vast amount of data and use statistical patterns to generate new content similar in style and structure to the original data. A large language model, or LLM, is a subset of generative AI that focuses on generating text. ChatGPT and BARD are popular examples of LLMs. These models are trained on vast amounts of text data, such as books, articles, and web pages. They use complex algorithms to learn the structure, grammar, and vocabulary of a given language. They can then generate new text that is similar in style and tone to the original data, and even complete sentences and paragraphs based on a partial input from a user. LLMs and other forms of generative AI rely on training data and patterns to inform parameters in the model. In simple terms, the more parameters behind an LLM, the more complex and nuanced its understanding of the human language can be. This is generally balanced by higher computational costs and training time. Let's explore what a large language model application can look like. Users will typically see the front end of an AI-enabled application, where they will provide a query. Behind the scenes, however, a pool of data has been ingested and put into a uniform structure. A model then takes the user's input from the front end and translates the natural language query to match the structure of the ingested data. Lastly, the model then restructures the data according to the predefined parameters before displaying results back to the user. This allows for an extensive range of use cases with generative AI. It is a powerful tool for augmenting a wide range of tasks. Some applicable uses you may want to consider include content creation. You can generate or collaborate on articles, blog posts, and even images and videos. It may surprise you that this video leverages generative AI for the voice you are hearing and avatar you are seeing. Generative AI can also be used to create chatbots trained on your organization's data and documents to provide tailored assistance. Research, you can easily aggregate and summarize large volumes of data. And coding. Generative AI can accelerate baseline code development, refactor or document existing code, and even serve as peer reviewer. Like any human in the loop technology or tool, there are key considerations to keep in mind when using generative AI. Most significantly, based of how generative works, with capabilities derived from underlying data, users should assume that anything included in a generative AI prompt will become part of the underlying training data for that generative AI model. For this reason, users should refrain from populating sensitive data into generative AI tools. Trust but verify generative AI tools are incredibly powerful, but they are only as good as the data on which they are trained and are known to produce errors at times. Generative AI tools are incredible accelerators, but they should not be used in absence of human validation of their output. Generate strong prompts when using AI. The more context and examples you provide, the better your results will be. Through the rapid adoption of generative AI, we are witnessing the merging of art and science, the democratization of knowledge and tools, and the emergence of new applications for the development of ideas and content. We need to rethink the power of human creativity and innovation. When approached as an enabler, the potential for Gen AI-enabled teams is exciting and has yet to be fully defined. 